And you know, I've been pretty cynical about what I think has been a very anti-democratic way that certain journalists and media organisations have covered the local body elections, going so far as to print lists of those that have been deemed politically incorrect or dangerous in standing for local bodies. And I like what Stuart said there. He said, congratulations to everyone who stands. But that is not the way, that is not the way that Stuff in particular and some other journalists have acted. They have gone round publishing lists of people who they say are associated with dangerous groups or with VFF and need to be exposed. It worries me that this is a dry run for the general election where an increasingly unprofessional news media interfere in an unethical way with um, our democratic process. And I got a message via Facebook, a Facebook Messenger message the other day from someone who had been identified, I think, in a Stuff article, uh, a Stuff sort of witch hunt article. Um, this person's name is Ali Cook. She is running, or she's a candidate, for the Tasman District Mayoralty, but she had been outed, I guess, as a VFF, Voices for Freedom, anti-vax, anti-mandate, um, adjacent character, and clearly the subtext of having that happen to you, the media, is that you're a nutter and no one should vote for you. So I thought the fairest thing I could do was to ask Ali Cook onto the programme and find out if she is a nutter. Uh, Ali, welcome to the platform. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Thanks so much for having me on this morning, Sean. It's um, great to be here. And uh, thank you for everything that you do in providing a platform that is more balanced. All right. Ali, first up, you ever run for, for local uh, government before? Yes, I have. In 2009, I ran, uh, ran for Waimea Mutri uh, Ward yeah. uh, back in 2009. I missed out by, I think, I was 402 votes behind, but I got... 1,849 votes, which was the most votes a woman had ever received within that oh, You don't have so to get all pretty... gendered on me here, Ali. Okay. <laughs> well, it's important because there's never been a, a female mayor of Tasman in 129 years since uh, women first gained the vote and the right to run for mayor and council. All right. So you are running for, for Tasman, the Tasman, Tasman District Mayoralty under what ticket or as an independent? Um, I am running under the Outdoors and Freedom Party, um, as I have involvement with them more recently. And um, so that's, yeah, so that okay. I am under a ticket. So, if you like. And you're quite open about being a member of the Outdoors and Freedom Party? Absolutely. Yep, okay, and I can see that. In fact, on your campaigning um, thing that you've got next to you, very nice product placement there, that's quite professional what you've done there. <laughs> okay, so you're not hiding anything about who you're politically affiliated with. Not like Tori no. Farnow, who's running for Mayor of Wellington, who's actually a Green Party candidate. Paul Eagle, who's a Labour MP and says he's running in this, as an independent. You're being uh, pretty upfront yeah. uh, about being with the Outdoors and Freedom Party. Yeah. It's important to be open. Okay. Are you also associated yeah. with Voices for Freedom or not? Um, I am on their mailing list, along with hundreds of thousands of other New Zealanders, um, and I went and looked at one meeting once, and okay. that's about it. But because I run with Outdoors and Freedom, there's no way they would support. Uh, there was no way they would support me because I have a party affiliation, and uh, I think okay. they're only supporting independent candidates. All right, yeah. uh, and Outdoors and Freedom Party. I guess some people might put them in the same uh, basket or bag as VFF. The article I read that had you on the list of undesirable candidates, and let, let's not pretend these articles are anything. What, what does it say there? Read it to us. I, well, uh, the audience uh, can't read that. Most seven, people listening on the radio. Yes, yeah. sorry, darling. Yeah, yeah, seven candidates linked to conspiracies, disinformation. And it was front page. It's very interesting because I've had the front page a number of other times with other things that I've done and um, they're usually very picky about the photograph that they put up there but this particular one was sort of cutouts of of social media okay posts. so you so, are linked yeah. to conspiracy theories are you um no I don't believe I'm linked to conspiracy theories I believe I like to ask questions short and I like to have them mm. answered all right I uh, have you one thing that did stick out for me and something I did read do you believe like there are nanobots or nanotechnology in the Pfizer vaccine 
Okay, so I actually had the word microchip retracted because they put that in there and they have changed it because I had the editor retract a couple of things um, and that is an interesting thing in itself. I saw the images which had been done by a group of scientists in Spain, done by a group of scientists in Germany and then repeated by a group of scientists in New Zealand and I said, what is this? With a question mark and that was followed up by me doing an OIA to the Ministry of Health to say, what is this? Uh, and they've refused to answer. So hang on, OIA are you so suggesting far? that there's nanotechnology in the Pfizer vaccine? I am asking what these groups of scientists have found. Explain to me these images. Okay. That's what I'm Do you entertain for. the possibility this. that there is nanotechnology in the Pfizer vaccine? Do you think that's really a valid question? I don't know, Sean. I'd just like to know what's in it because I've had a son go okay, to Okay, well, are you, suggest, are you suggesting there's nanotechnology in it? I'm asking the question was exactly what okay, the question was. Okay, so you, are, you are entertaining the possibility. <laughs> you are entertaining well, I don't the possibility. Know what it is. Well, I, I can, I'm, can pretty surely tell you it's not nanotechnology. Okay, well, that's fine. Do you if entertain you, the possibility that... that you become magnetised if you have the Pfizer vaccine. No, oh, I don't think so. You don't think so, yeah. or is that a question <laughs> worth, worth, worth asking? Uh, well, no, I don't, I don't think so. I'd just like to know what those images are and what the videos are, more importantly, okay. that are attached to them. When Do I, you when accept I there to, is uh, not nanotechnology in the Pfizer vaccine? No, because nobody's answered that question from the Ministry of uh, Health to tell uh, me that okay. they have put... Uh, I'm not saying it's nanotechnology. I'm saying, like, in Japan, for example, they stopped the Moderna vaccine because they found medical metal particles in it, right? So I'm saying, what what is this? What are these images? Has, has the vaccine mm. in New Zealand been put under a microscope? And I've fairly asked that question of mm. Ministry of Health, and they've not answered me as to whether they have put it under the microscope. Simple question, mm. simple answer. Yes or no is all I needed, and I haven't had either. I, uh, uh, okay, what else do you think about the vaccine? Well, I've got, I've got three children who were done. So one's done in Wellington. He's had both under juries. Uh, he's been crook ever since. One had it... Uh, four hours later, he was driving down State Highway 1 and Healthline called an ambulance for him. He was taken to emergency and four days and four more emergency visits after that with heart inflammation. And then he lost his job for refusing to do it to himself again. So when I was asked if I went to the protest, I said, yes, I went for my son because he was injured. So when the article comes out, it says that I claimed claimed that my son was injured. So when I went to the editor and said, you know, how dare you actually make it look like I lied about my son's injury, my God, she said to me, we didn't write it that way. She said to me in an email, we wrote it as Ali said her son was taken by, away by ambulance and the acting editor of staff in Auckland changed that and took out the ambulance bit and put in the word claimed. She has changed it back. To uh, the have word any of said. your children been entered on the official register of adverse side effects to the vaccine? Abs absolutely. Okay. Yeah, All right. My, my cool. son so has the one on that the was injured. So yeah. they're on the. So one yeah. of them has. One of yes, them has. one of them has. One of them has yeah. been officially recognised. Okay, on the official register, which does yeah. keep an eye on it. Yes. Do you believe that yes. Pfizer has been part of a conspiracy to force the vaccine? on the world because Bill Gates wants to control the world's population? I don't know the answer to that question. All I know is that is that we have never had that amount of reactions, 60 plus thousand reactions, three and a half thousand serious reactions to any medication before, and yet we don't see any reporting whatsoever in any mainstream media of this. You got to understand Apart my background. Apart from the official the statistics that your son is part of and yeah. the official health reporting, how else are you going to gather yeah, accurate? There's account? no, but absolutely, but there's no reporting of this in the mainstream yes, media. Yes, there is because you can go None. online and you can get those figures every day. 
Uh, yes, but I'm saying there's no there's no reporting of the stories that are with that. Well, that's I mean, I've you been can in get publicity for. You can get okay. the figures off so the I internet. No, no, no. So I spoke to a television producer the other day who rang me about something else. I've been 40 years in publicity. I've got friends right through the media that I've followed from outlet to outlet. And I said, what is this that you don't cover these stories? What is this? Is it a writ? And she said, no, I think it's group thinking is what mm. she said to me. Is she a mainstream news thinking. media report, uh, producer? Absolutely, and I'm not going to say who it is, obviously. All right, so okay. Wanted so the, I just want to take back. the conversation You offline. entertain the possibility of a global conspiracy by Pfizer in cahoots with Bill Gates to impose a dangerous vaccine on people for the purposes of, of population control? Not necessarily. I'm ah, not ruling so that out it, either. You're not ruling it out. Okay. I want... I okay, that's want good. I just want to clear answered. that up. Okay. Why? I simply Why want if they are answered. ridiculous questions, Ellie? Because my son was injured by it. That's yeah, why. Yeah, but, but the, so, the, logical so leap, uh, the logical leap that you go from my son had a reaction to a vaccine which we know creates reactions in some people, unfortunately sometimes quite severe. I don't know how you make the logical leap to that means there is the possibility of a global conspiracy by Pfizer in cahoots with Bill Gates to control the world's population. You're saying that's a possibility because your son got sick from the jab. No, I'm saying that's a possibility because of the way that people with reactions and the serious number of reactions throughout the world are not being treated seriously. And there well, are they no are. Help. They there's are being no entered help. into public health registries, as they are in New Zealand, and they're being notified. But there's no help. Well, yes, there's there no is. Help. You get treatment. There's no help. Yes, there is. You get treatment in our public health system. Okay. My son, for an example, this is the only example I've got because yeah. I've actually had a, a family member go through it. So he's at he's at A and E. The doctor says to him, "You should never get another vaccine outside of a hospital setting." Right? Yeah. His girlfriend is there. She's witness yeah. to the conversation. Yeah. That doesn't mean he's not getting we help. Go, he's getting medical advice wait, there in hospital. Wait. We go back to get that in writing. Okay? Yeah. And the doctor denies he ever says it. Oh, really? What was the doctor's name? Um, I haven't got it right in front of me, but oh, I, I thought you would have kept you. it because it seems you kept everything out about the story. Look, I'm sorry, Ellie. Oh, I yeah, have. I've got, I got am a whole re... file. I've okay. got a whole file. Yeah, you've got a whole file. So, okay. Yeah. Ellie, I'm yeah, sorry. I, I am coming to the. Look, 1080. Where are you on 1080? Uh, um, I disagree with that. With 1080. And that's that was my okay. main reason. Fluoride for, in the water. I think fluoride in water. Not in my water. Okay, chemtrails. No. What do you mean, no? No, no evidence. No evidence. Okay. Although they talked about cloud seeding in the sixties, so I've got books with that in, you know, to make it rain. That's right. actually. Ellie, that's I actually hate thing. to say it. That's I think it. you are a bit of a conspiracy theorist. I like to take all of the information and weigh up and go and get official answers, Sean, really. Well, I think there are just but some when you questions don't get that official are silly answers. to ask. Because you are entertaining the idea of a global well, I, conspiracy by Pfizer, which would require thousands of people to be involved, and there's been no evidence of it. Well, and there, there, I found no clear evidence of suppression of medical, um, uh, you know, of, of side effects of the Pfizer vaccine. We got a very good way of reporting that in New Zealand. And it would seem to me that the side effects as officially so why reported... So are why are we still using it then, Sean, when there's been 65,000 we we reactions? Because we made, we made a decision as a society that we would be tolerant of a certain number of adverse effects because of the greater good. Yep, that's right. But when you're the person that's actually got a family member that's reacting... Yeah, yeah. well, I'm sorry, effect. that's tough. You're taking one for the Your team. Is... You're taking one for the team. Okay, that's your view. Okay, I, I but, accept that. All right, all right, okay. Um, nevertheless, I still think you should be allowed to stand um, for local body politics without being um, painted as a complete nutter. Um, have you tried to do anything about the reporting there's been upon uh, on you and have you had any satisfaction with trying to get it corrected or, or altered? Oh, sir. 
Certainly, as as I said, um, Victoria, the local editor, took out the word uh, microchip. She put in the word nanotechnology instead. She took out claimed when it when it, when it mm. was referred to my son. She put back in said and taken away by an ambulance, which was which was taken yeah. out and replaced by the editor of uh, by the acting editor of stuff which tells me that every one of those articles done locally by an who, where an editor and a sub editorial mm. process is taking place it's gone to the top editor and he's done his little bit over the top of it which tells me that the main part of staff are actually are actually overseeing every one of those articles oh yeah that are yeah I, mean, I hate to say I, I, I tend yeah. to i tend yeah. to agree with you on that ali um, Which is not normal practice. Normally, sub editing is done at the regional level. Just to yeah, say yeah. that, yes. Yeah, Ali. Could I also ask you? Um, are you a Nazi? Are you a white supremacist or not? Because you know you kind of been lumped in with them. <laughs> no, um, I'm as I say, I'm running with the Outdoors and Freedom Party. We have two other beautiful wahini that are running with us: uh, Donna Pukiri Phillips and also uh, Hini Afiki in Manukau. So, no, definitely not. We have a Maori co-leader. Um, so, no, no. I'd actually suggest to you that being targeted by the woke media probably hasn't done your profile or your chances uh, any harm whatsoever. Here you are on the platform, so, the fastest growing media outlet in the country. <laughs> I know, I know you are, and it's great. But um, I, I think that it, it was interesting. I think it has had a reverse effect. I met some people on the weekend at the market who came to me, some older people, and they said that actually they didn't particularly seem like they were going to vote for me, but they said they had stopped their subscription to the Nelson Mail because of this, because of what they described as a smear piece on people that didn't show the other side of um, that didn't show the other side of people at all. That's and someone, I think that's, that's someone it's really saying, Yeah, that's someone reading to say we're we're listening to you on the platform. No, that's 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 not that's that's actually my son trying to ring from his truck, um, <laughs> driving down through the island. Um, no, so um, I think yeah, I think there's no balance. So I've started a little website called reallyaboutus.com, and I'm going and I'm getting all of those candidates, and I'm telling these stories, points about things they've done in their community. I mean, if you stand up and put your hand up, you've probably been a community orientated person. You know, mm. I've, I've been twice nominated for next New Zealand Woman of the Year for my contribution to the arts, culture and heritage yep. in this country. I've, I've been a supreme award winner for my region for the Trust Power Awards. You know, I've been involved in the community and that article doesn't say anything about no. the things that those no, candidates it, have done you, it within their It didn't fit their narrative. It didn't fit their narrative. It didn't fit their narrative. Okay, fine. And so I'm doing this reallyaboutus.com to a... Uh, to, uh, tell their other stories and All I've right. got lots of candidates from throughout the country who are sending me what they've done. And in, Ali, in final cheeky question as is my want, did man land on the moon or was that all filmed in a film studio in California? <laughs> I don't think so but I haven't put an OIA in for that yet, Sean. <laughs> good response. <laughs> Ali, thank you for your time. <laughs> Thanks for being a good sport today and good luck. Good yeah. luck win or lose with yes. your campaign. Lovely talking to you. Uh, that, thank you, thank you, Sean. That is Ta Ali Cook, one of those who's been targeted by the woke media and been told she shouldn't stand, she's dangerous. Well, she says who she's standing for. OK, she's got some views that you might not agree with or you might agree with, but it is a free country, isn't it? Margaret, please uh, hang on the line. I will get to you. And I just want your thoughts on that. Uh, and because so many people, I think, are being unfairly treated as they stand for local government, I thought it was worth giving someone a bit of a crack. Uh, I really do.